Glenda Jackson, the star of stage and screen, who went on to serve as a Labour MP for more than 20 years, has died at the age of 87. In a long and hugely successful acting career, she won numerous awards, including two Oscars and three Emmys, before being elected as the MP for Hampstead in 1992. After retiring from the Commons, she made a triumphant return to the stage, taking on the role of King Lear at the age of 80. Daniela Ralph looks back at her life. If that is your opinion, you had better hide your face indeed. Your Majesty has only to say. I have said! Glenda Jackson as Elizabeth R, the steely virgin queen who gave everything for her country. Uh, you must forgive me. I am a woman. It was a dazzling performance. You have wives, you have children, you know what it is to love and be loved. From a mesmerizing actor. I want to thrust right between his ribs. Take the dagger. Born on Merseyside, she worked for Boots the Chemist, but with the Royal Shakespeare Company, and then in film, she shot to stardom and in Marat Saad about suffering and struggle in revolutionary to France. To me. <laughs> Ken Russell's adaptation of Women in Love won her an Oscar for Best Actress in 1969. You don't think one needs the experience of having been married? Oh, Gudrun, do you really think it need be an experience? It's bound to be. You must be hungry for something. That's true. She became something of a national treasure as Cleopatra with Morecambe and Wise. <laughs> Hollywood noticed her sense of humour. How was it for you? Very nice. And two years later... Very nice? And what's wrong with very nice? She won a second Oscar, opposite George Segal in the romantic comedy A Touch of Class. Well, very nice is hardly the phrase to describe two bodies locked in heavenly transport. I'm Glenda Jackson. Politically, yes, she was left-wing, appearing in a party political broadcast for Labour in 1987. Oh, Five years later, she won the Tory-held seat of Hampstead, Never before has the Labour Party been needed as much as it is needed now. She was a junior minister for a while, but spent most of her time on the backbenches. She stood down in 2015. Rumble thy belly full! And returned to the stage, first as King Lear at London's Old Vic. They all think they can treat me like this. And then won awards on Broadway in Edward Albee's Three Tall Women. Glenda Jackson who gave up stardom for politics and later returned to the stage in a triumphant final act. Dame Glenda Jackson, who's died at the age of 87, and our arts correspondent, David Silito, is with me. Uh, actress and politician, a remarkable double career, David. Um, extraordinary. Um, let's talk about two Elizabeths. The first Elizabeth, 1971, 10 hours. She goes from the young Elizabeth to her death um, and wins all the awards. And I was looking through the extraordinary list of awards and it's page after page. Yes. Um, and then I noticed that, you know, four Oscar nominations, uh, never once did she actually turn up to the Oscars because she was always too busy. It was the work that mattered. And then you go right through to Elizabeth is missing in her 80s again award-winning. Um, and is it everything that you know of her? She had this presence, this commanding regal presence. There's no wonder she was King Lear and Elizabeth I. And then, of course, Morecambe and Wise. And you go, oh yes, just how funny she was as well. The work was what mattered. She was the real deal. David Silito, thank you.